We've made this video to demonstrate the importance of depth of insertion for nasopharyngeal swab collection. Here you can see the nasal anatomy. On the left is the inferior turbinate, the right is the septum, and the distance is the nasopharynx. Here we're inserting the swab to a depth of four centimeters. You can see at this depth, we only reach the inferior turbinate, does not even contact the middle turbinate, and most definitely not the nasopharynx. By inserting this further to seven centimeters, or half of the distance from the nose to the ear, you can see we're just at the edge of the nasopharynx. But when the swab is spun in this area, it is spinning in air and is not contacting nasal mucosa. Inserting this further to nine centimeters, or at least two thirds of the distance from the nose to the ear, we are now contacting nasopharyngeal mucosa at the posterior nasopharynx and obtaining an excellent nasopharyngeal swab specimen. Here are the guidelines currently recommended by the provinces and territories in Canada. You can see that only four of these are recommending a distance of at least two thirds with Quebec only showing a pictogram. Most concerning are Alberta and Northwest Territories recommending a depth of four centimeters of insertion to reach the nasopharynx for a nasopharyngeal swab.